Hi, this is architect Shweta Doriwala. I'm a senior architect in Studio Lagom, and I'm going to explain you this project named Samarth Office. That homes are often echoes of the owner's personality and lifestyle is a well-known fact. But the genesis of the design for this office for a real estate developer too lay in promoter's taste, preferences, and personality. As the office was to be created in a building developed by the firm. there was freedom and control over the internal configuration of the penthouse level where it is located so in effect the architect was presented with a shell and a set of requirements from the client a main owner cabin that had to have a formal area and informal lounge connections between levels links between inside and outside and integration of greenery into the internal environment The architect viewed the space as a plot and sketched out a double height reception that would connect both levels and an owner's cabin that spilled over in a into a partially double heighted west facing terrace with beautiful sunsets. Within the remaining space on the lower level was created an essentially open plan office with the requisite cabins especially uh, one reserved for the accountant or manager a sensitive post overlooking the reception the main entrance and the general office area on the upper level is a suite for the rooms that functions as a guest house the material and color palette is unostentatious and demure referring to the simple and humble personality of the owner timber and veneer weather steel and mineral polished grey kota and kadappa stones team with pastel soft furnishings the entrance facade presents solidity through its use of hollow sections of mild steel of varying widths the material spills into the reception lounge via the reception desk and the staircase that climbs to the next level it is rendered as a single folded metal plate entity centrally cladded with wood to create a carpet like effect at its base is a water body its gentle sound of water imbues the space with serene overtones the reception lounge sees a strong interpretation of the inside outside connect with its 24 feet vertical garden accommodated in a building duct the greenery presents a strong counterpoint to the metal creating a taut balance between the animate and inanimate organic and inorganic Besides the lush vertical garden another design highlight of the reception is the customized chandelier that uses the ceiling and a part of the walls as its canvas the installation which features an overlapping collage of weathered steel quadrangles of varying dimensions and heights has concealed lighting for added effect the master cabin which was elevated as a token of respect to the position of the occupant gets together an eclectic material palette of engineered wood mild steel and corian a counterpoint to the metal is an internal garden the link between inside outside again that bask in natural light from the skylight the cabin spills over into the terrace a lounge like breakout space revealing in sunlight and greenery here MS Let's works as a screen that erases the neighboring structures from sight and as a shorter version function as a railing for this double height space the kadappa on the floor climbs up the wall to create butchwork like cladding with a cascade and a koi pond at a base up the stairs is a formal meeting room a cocoon like space wrapped in a black leather finish kadappa and black paint One large 40 feet by 10 feet wall has been turned into a canvas for a silhouette of a sylvan setting. This, along with greenery, animates the closed area and adds visual depth. Housed on the upper level, the executive staff area comprises an informal sitting lounge, guest room, and conference room. This functions as a guest house for visiting con- consultants and is also pressed into service for presentations and for recouping energies between long drawn meetings. This office issues from chest thumping pretentious design statements and relies on simplicity, comfort and nature to create an effective workspace. Mm-hmm.